Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's a series that premieres every Saturday, 3pm UK time. And the live chat box is there for you to use however you want, support network, coffee meeting, general chit chat, however you want to use it. And I always have the most wonderful people in the live chat, it's amazing. So yeah, let's crack on. So today I thought I would share with you my experience of living with chronic pain. And uh, we'll start at the very beginning. Firstly, I'll just let you know what I'm using. So the primer is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I love this. So back in October, I, uh, I was sat taking my makeup off, ready to go to bed and uh, I had this most horrendous pain in my chest and it was uh, it was hurting from my chest up to my jaw. So I phoned up our kind of telephone doctor's advice etc um, and they sent out an ambulance and the ambulance came out and because the symptoms I was having um, indicated possibly a heart attack. So they wanted to take me in. I freaked out and refused to go, which was in hindsight very stupid, but that's what I did. <laughs> and uh, the following day, my boyfriend had to take me up there. So the foundation I'm going in with is the Revolution Conceal and Glow. It's the first time I've used it. So we shall see. Let me... So... Oh, this is not coming out. Oh, this is running. <laughs> Move that quick. I don't know if this is the right colour, but we can always bronze up. So. So in hospital, they ran blood tests, which, believe me, is not an easy feat with me. I am needle phobic, so I had to be kind of dosed up. So I was uh, pretty out of it. And uh, anyway, so it, the blood test results came back and uh, it ruled out a heart attack, but the blood test indicated something was amiss. So I then had to go, I had an x-ray, which uh, didn't show anything. And then I was sent for a scan and basically what they had to do was inject a dye like into my veins so that all my veins showed up on the scan um again i don't remember much i was quite out of it um but yeah that kind of ruled out so that ruled out a pulmonary embolism i can never say that so that ruled that out so then i had to make an emergency appointment with a doctor and she diagnosed my costochondritis which is it's which is inflammation of the cartilage which joins the ribs to the sternum um it's extremely painful and mimics a heart attack essentially so every day it felt like i was having multiple heart attacks it was so painful so yeah it was a difficult time i i struggled <laughs> with uh dealing with it not being able to do much for myself i couldn't raise I, I couldn't do anything really i couldn't put my arms up above my head um everything <laughs> was painful basically um if i breathed too deep it was extreme pain if i twisted if i stretched it was so debilitating I think this uh, this colour matches pretty well. So I'm going to go in with the Madage Beauty London, the Skin Perfect Photo Ready Concealer in the shade Medium Light Porcelain. I forgot to say the shade of this. So the shade of the foundation is F6. I think it might be a tad light, but we can bronze. So... After a few months of changing 
my meds and me still being in pain it was almost like the pain in other areas of my body appeared and got worse so I was really feeling useless is probably the best explanation useless pathetic I was crying a lot <laughs> Um, not being able to kind of wash my hair, get in and, well, get out of the bath. I just realised I'm saying everything like was like it's past, but unfortunately the, the pain is still here. But I will get to that <laughs> in a bit. So not only was I suffering with uh, feeling really low and useless because I couldn't do anything, for myself but also I was putting on a lot of weight due to the medication I was on and uh, that in itself just really knocked my confidence even more made me feel really really low um, it didn't matter what I was doing it was just piling on so I went from a dress size a small 16 um, in October to a large 20 now and uh, so it was a lot of weight in a short period of time so finally I was changed meds to a stronger painkiller which has been really really helpful in managing the costochondritis pain I noticed my knees just progressively getting worse and in my shoulder and I've been getting like numbness and pins and needles cold in my left wrist and hand and the cold kind of goes up um, I wake up every morning with that that numbness to to my left hand which is frustrating to say the least um, so cream contour, I'm going in with the Kiko Milano Sculpting Touch Creamy Stick Contour in 200. So due to COVID, most doctor's appointments are telephone appointments moment. And uh, I just found that I wasn't necessarily being taken seriously or they didn't get the extent to how much I was suffering and how low I'd gotten. So I finally managed to make a face-to-face -face appointment. And the doctor was absolutely fantastic. She could see straight away, you know, how how much how much pain I was in, how how low it's making me feel. Um, I did bawl my eyes out, <laughs> but I do that a lot when uh, discussing how I'm feeling with all this, um, which is why it's kind of taken me so long to really really open up about it I've said some things um, but being constantly in pain um, be it my my chest my knees my shoulder it's uh, It's really made me feel extremely low um, and I've been kind of trying so hard to be positive all the time which is you know a, a good thing to do but at the same time not been allowing myself to to feel and talk about like how everything's affecting me um, which I don't think is particularly healthy. Um, we'll see. My my boyfriend does know um, how I'm feeling, and he has been absolutely fantastic. He helps me um, get in and out of the bath. He he washes my hair for me because I haven't been able to do it because I can't reach my arms up. The, the pain in my knees is so bad um, that sometimes they just give way <laughs> um, is the only way to describe it. I have 
fallen down the bottom few of the stairs um, at one point and only a couple of weeks ago, um, two, three weeks ago, I was trying to stand up in the bath uh, for my boyfriend to help me get out and my knee went and I fell back and bashed my side, ended up with a huge bruise and again making me feel even more useless. So for cream blush I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Foot Upside Down before you go flush and if I can open it this is what she looks like. So I can't go out to the shop because I, I can't walk far. Things have just been really, really tough with it. So yeah, the doctor was so understanding. She was fantastic. And uh, after chatting with me for a bit and seeing my movements, she, she told me that what I was actually suffering with now um, is complex regional pain syndrome which is essentially chronic pain um but there's like extra things like like the numbness i get in my hand and wrist um is one of the symptoms of it so she believes it was triggered by my costochondritis so nobody could understand why the pain from the costochondritis was going on for so long so it was a relief to have an answer to that, a reason, but at the same time, um, quite scary. So the powder I'm going in with is the OPV Beauty Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I really like this one. It's scary because uh, it can last for, for years. Um, they say it often gradually improves over time, but some people suffer with it for many years. And uh, that scares me. Because um, I already feel like I've, I haven't had independence as such for so long now so after explaining to me what um, complex regional pain syndrome is she's uh, put me on a different medication and also she's booked me an appointment with a physiotherapist for next week so hopefully I can uh, eventually be able to, well, sometimes if I'm sat down, I can't get up without help because uh, my knees just have, they just give up <laughs> and hurt and it's extremely painful. Um, and even when they haven't given up, just standing up from sitting always hurts so yeah i'm really um looking forward to the physio therapy i think it's going to be a really positive thing for me and the new medication that she has put me on i actually had my first good night's sleep since October. It was amazing. I woke up this morning actually feeling like I'd slept and oh, I'd forgotten how amazing that feels. Something that I always took for granted before now. Um, so the medication that I've been put on can have some 
horrible side effects. So um, I'm basically trialing before being put on it properly. So the new medication is used generally to treat epilepsy, but it's also known to be effective in some cases with complex regional pain syndrome. So I am hopeful. Okay, so the brows are going to have to do today. <laughs> So for contour, I'm going in with Peaches and Cream Sculpting Powder Light Medium. I love this. So I haven't got a clue where I was at because uh, I took a little break when I needed one. Um, so I don't want to cry on, on camera. So I took some... I took a few minutes just to calm myself. Um, yeah, I haven't got a clue where I was. Um, but the doctor, she uh, she described or explained um, this condition to me as that basically my central nervous system has gone bonkers and is essentially imagining pain everywhere. Um, But obviously the pain is very real and it makes because of the nature of the pain it's very difficult to treat so for a while now I've been wondering why the uh, pain meds have been helping with my costochondritis but I was still suffering so bad with my knees and my shoulder and the numbness etc so it was a relief to understand why that wasn't working. So last night I did some reading up about complex regional pain syndrome. Um, I've got it written down because I keep forgetting <laughs> what it's called. Um, and so yeah, just trying to educate myself on, on what it is I have and things that I can do to help um, because one of the main things with um, dealing with chronic pain is educating yourself on what it is and you know, it's very important when you're suffering with chronic pain to read up you know educate yourself and understand you know what what the pain is what you can do to help etc etc so I've been doing some reading. Also, um, due to COVID, the kind of chronic pain support groups aren't running at the moment, um, which is a shame because it would be it would be so nice to be able to sit and talk to other people feeling the same kind of things. You know, just to, to feel like I'm not alone in it because it's, uh, yeah, it's not, not easy. Because yeah, I'm not finding this easy at all. Right, so for bronzer, I'm going in with the Nabla Skin Bronzing in June. I love this. Yeah, I think the only the only way I can kind of talk about all of this is by distracting myself by doing something else as well. Um and try and like detach myself from from my from how I'm feeling just to explain it. I felt it was very important to kind of share with you guys how I was feeling, what's going on and you know explain that in some of my videos if I seem off, if I seem kind of almost disinterested it's it's not that at all it's uh it's just that some days this gets too much 
and some days I fall into the self-pity and I just I cry a lot <laughs> and as much as I don't want you guys to see that side of me like on camera I think it was important for me to share it with you all so all of you I see as my friends and kind of my YouTube family and I think the world of all of you so yeah I thought I would share this you know partly for you guys to understand how I'm feeling and what's going on with me yeah also for if any of you are struggling with something similar have chronic pain feeling really low you're not alone because uh, I'm there and if any of you ever want to talk to someone I'm always happy to to talk to any of you if you need a friend if you're on Instagram just DM me or I'll put my email address in the description box so that if you don't have Instagram and you wanna message I would hate for any of you to feel alone and to kind of suffer alone anyways I'm gonna stop that chat before I start crying <laughs> okay so I did all of my eyeshadow and went to pause the recording to go and get a bottle of water and it wasn't recording so I have already done this eye look so now I'm going to do it again with you guys so yes if my brushes look dirty it's because they've been used wow right so <laughs> so for eye primer I'm using the P Louise base pro in rumor 02 so I really enjoy this uh, eye primer what well, eye base so it covers everything really well there's still a bit of green here <laughs> see if we can uh, cover that with uh, with the base, oh my word. Yes, it's uh, it's not easy taking off an eye look without taking off the rest of your makeup. <laughs> but hey ho, I'm clearly not with it today. So, but it was good timing in a way because. Uh, when I did go down to get my bottle of water, the postman turned up with some goodies from Artitude Cosmetics. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but she's uh, recently launched Duochrome Cake It Water Activated Liners. So I have three of those to try. And she's also launched some new lashes. And I have picked up the baddie ones. So looking forward to trying all of those. I also received their temporary lip tattoos. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to have to do a video using them. I will show you in just a second what they look like. So it's definitely going to be a fun, fun video. And a bit more green there. Oh my word. I love this eye primer, but you do need to kind of tap it down before you go in with the uh, shadows because before it starts to set a bit, you need to kind of tap out the creases. I have some more um, P. Louise bases to try, coloured ones, at some point, so I'm really looking forward to trying those. So, this palette is not going to look new anymore because I've already played with it, but I am going in with the SP Cosmetics Aroma Palette. How beautiful is she? And... The front is the same on all of them. I still have the yellow one 
to try but because I did a yellow eyeshadow look um, I think it was my last video um, I figured I would do green and especially being calm a chameleon green is my my calming color my happy color so <laughs> firstly I'm going in with this green over here and I'm just going through my crease and up so I want the green to come quite high because this is kind of my almost transition shade so I need to bring it quite high These eyeshadows are amazing. I can highly recommend SP Cosmetics. She's a new UK indie brand and these, these eyeshadows have blown me away. I love them. So I love that whilst they're monochromatic palettes, there's not just green you've got like the golden colors that go with green you've got that yellowy brown it definitely gives you options and i really like that so it's kind of a monochromatic palette with more options i don't know if that makes sense i don't know if i ever make sense who knows <laughs> clearly i don't okay so i'm also bringing it right in there by my nose I don't know. so where this is a tackier base it's easier to uh, do some blending after packing it on now these mattes just blend so easily and the shimmers, you wait till you see those. They are the bomb. I'm blending it pretty much up to my eyebrow. Um, I will be going in with the minty shade just to blend out the edges a bit more. Look at that. And then dipping into the minty shade up here. And I'm going to use that to go over these edges just to soften them. I love this palette, not just because it's a green based palette, although that does play a big part, um, but the shadows are just so easy to blend and they're beautiful. I am so happy that I discovered this brand. The owner is just so lovely. And these eyeshadow palettes are the bomb. Right. I think we're alright with that for now. So next I'm going in with this yellowy brown. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there. This yellowy brown there. And I'm going to say the same thing that I say all the time. This brush from Made by Mitchell, the ME2 is amazing it is the best brush for doing your outer v increase because you can just get it so precise um because of the fluffy bristles fluffy bristles i don't know because it's fluffy um and small you can really blend out shades
they just blend together so easily there's no I have no issues with any of these and I know that because I've done this look already today just didn't have my phone on record because I'm clever like that <laughs> oh dear what am I like I love this this is this is my kind of brown this yellowy color brown yellowy brown I love it so I've already used the pinky purple one if I haven't said already I will make sure it is up in the cards for you to check out if you want to So yes, I've gone a bit off track, kind of avoiding talking about my problems. I actually didn't think it would be this hard to to talk about it because obviously I'm aware of it all and because it's happening to me and like my daughter and my boyfriend they they see it but actually saying it out loud is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be but it's the difficult things that make you stronger that's what I believe Look how easily these shades just blend together. Ooh. Yes, I am liking that. So I'm going to take a bit of that brown just on the very outer part there, at the outer third of my lower lash line. Okay, and then just using a little bit of the darker green, just going to bring that underneath here, just to blend that a bit. This is another really good brush. This one is the P. Louise um, ah. oh so this is the P. Louise hashtag 117 and it says too lost in my blend yep that's me <laughs> I find it so hard not to keep going but you've got to stop at some point And then back in with some of that yellowy brown. Just to make sure that is still. Oh, look at that. So 
So with my brushes, would any of you be interested in a video showing you my favourite brushes? Because that's definitely something I can do as well. At some point, obviously. Um, you have seen... Did I show you? I'm not sure if I showed you my uh, my box of shame and just grabbing a bit of the mint shade just to blend it a bit more just using the same brush because I'm mixing them anyway right my, I'm just going to have to take a break because my, my hand's gone numb. So uh, I will be back in a moment. Okay, so I have the feeling back in my hand. And while I was uh, off, I decided to pop in some fun earrings. These are from Amy's Accessories. I will list her details in the description box below for if you want to uh, check her out. She is lovely. So lovely. Right, so... <laughs> For the second time today, I am going in with the NYX Glitter Primer. Though I'm not putting too much on because I find that when I put too much of this on, it kind of cakes up the uh, eyeshadow. So I just use enough to make it kind of tacky. I don't know if that's just because I've got aging eyes, but who knows? All right, using a tiny bit of the yellowy brown just to go over that very outer part, just to make sure that there's a kind of blend. I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to stop rambling for a second and let you know what I'm popping on my lid. So the first shimmer I'm going in with for my lid is this darker green shimmer there. And that one is going literally on the very outer edge here. I love these shimmers, they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I know it's only a small amount, but can you see? See how just beautiful that is? And then the same over here. And with the other side of the brush, I'm going in with the green that's in the middle there. And that one is going to be going on the center, still leaving the inner part there open. Just look at that. Beautiful. I love these. Something just so magical about shimmery greens. So what's your favourite colour to uh, to play with? I'm always mentioning mine, which if you've even watched one of my videos, you'll probably know. I am green mad. But yeah, what, what colour do you guys go for? Or does it depend on your mood? I'm just being nosy. So the last shimmer for my lid is going to be this green in the top corner there I know I love this just wait for this look 
if you're a green lover oh, look at that that is so beautiful and as I go around I'm just kind of dragging it into the middle shade a bit just to kind of blend them just a bit I still want to be able to see the I still want to be able to see all three shades I'm gonna to have to go back in with the first shimmer because uh, I think we've kind of lost that a bit oh this this green this shimmer oh look at it it's just so beautiful Have any of you guys been following Lois Cosmetics uh, releases? Oh my word. The first release was the pre-order and it sold out within 10 minutes. And then yesterday, to me, was the uh, official launch date and she sold out within a minute. How amazing is that for a small indie brand? to sell out that fast twice is just amazing absolutely amazing and I know a lot of people are disappointed they didn't get it I didn't get my hands on it either this time but there's going to be another restock so uh, I'm just so happy for Lois I just think all of her hard work has has just really paid off and she doesn't pump out loads of eyeshadow palettes she's uh, she really takes her time to make sure they're perfect and I have the rose metal and the golden rose palettes and I love them the formula is better than a lot of my high-end eyeshadows and Lois is just such a lovely person. She just deserves all of this. So, so happy for her. And very, very excited to try the new palette eventually. So just going in a little bit with that darkest green just on the edge there. Darkest green shimmer. <laughs> Can't talk. Right, and going back in with the yellowy brown matte, just to make sure the outer edge there is blended. I cannot praise these eyeshadows enough. Because for another small indie brand, I love them. They're like monochromatic palettes, but better because you've got more options and I like that. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. So for my lower lash line, I am first going in with this gold shimmer in the middle there. And I'm going to use that for the outer part. So just the outer edge there of my lower of my lower lash line. These shimmers are just beautiful. You can use them without glitter primer or or spraying because they still show up beautifully. But I like to get the best. I can out of a an eyeshadow and uh, I am being so good drinking water I used to hate it. it used to make me gag but recently I'm drinking these bottles of water that's not tap water and I actually feel better for it Yeah, a few of the meds I'm on um, 
they give me a really really dry mouth so I'm forever having to sip at something so it's generally water now so that I don't know because I need to lose weight <laughs> right I'm gonna stop blabbering so the next shade I'm using is this green shimmer up there so I think there are two different formulas of uh, shimmer in this palette you've got the ones that I've got on already which are more foiled and then you have a couple of I think more regular shimmers they're beautiful so going in with that green in the middle here oh look at that that is perfect absolutely perfect and yeah this way I am also using all nine shades I love to do that if I've got a smaller palette I love to challenge myself to see if I can get all nine of them in the look and I just find it really enjoyable <laughs> so and then for the inner part of my lower lash line I'm going in with this yellowy gold yellowy gold I don't know mustardy yellow I'm going in with this shade anyway whilst I uh, decide what I think it is so just placing that on the inner part there look at that that is beautiful I'm packing it a little bit because I really want that to stand out. Whew. So pretty. Look at that. So even though I think these are the less foil trimmers they still really pack a punch look at that so the eyeshadows from sp cosmetics have really blown me away it just i love them okay so eyeshadow done so for eyeliner i have this new sample beauty liquid eyeshadow in the shade strapping to try out beautiful mustard color so i thought that would be absolutely perfect for today uh, liquid eyeshadows I don't I don't ever, not ever so I don't ever use liquid eyeshadows across the whole of my lid I tend to use them just for just for eyeliner yeah I wanted to give these a go and see just see what they're like see if they're uh, any good because obviously they're a lot cheaper than a lot of the kind of pomade gel eyeliners so with this I think it's just making sure that you kind of layer it a bit to get the opacity Look, that colour is perfect for this look. Oh, look at that. See, it definitely does need layering up. I don't know if it, well, I'm guessing it dries down.
I hope so, otherwise I'm going to have a lot of transfer. I love this shade, this colour. This colour is absolutely gorgeous. I think they are drying down. They are. I think it is drying down. And whether they came from. Not a clue what that was. I'm going to take a quick break whilst this dries down and then I'll be back to continue. Okay, so that's dried down now. So I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes as best I can with my broken lash curler. So for mascara, I'm using the Madage Beauty Madeja Lash Mascara as uh, as always this is such a good mascara i didn't do a very good job of curling my lashes because well because my lash curlers are broken it's uh, better than nothing. Beautiful. Yeah, I can highly recommend this mascara. It is brilliant. So for lashes, I'm going to be using these ones. They are from Bunny Beauty, which is a UK indie brand, actually based in the town that I live in. So let's see, right, the glue I'm using, I hate it, absolutely hate it, it doesn't dry down properly, when you take your lashes off, it's still super sticky, it's really, really difficult, um, it's just really annoying. I thought I would get the Duo Quick Set. I really don't like this, I want my original one back. So what I do with the lashes is I get a bit of glue. I've got this little, it's like a nail dotting tool. And I just put, if I was using the other glue, I would put it on my eyes first. But I don't, I don't like to do that with this because it's stuck all of my eyelashes together. So let's get this baby on. Oh, crikey crumbs, you are a nightmare. Yeah, 
here if you are not amazing at putting lashes on don't get this uh this one it's the duo quick set and it looks like that well had enough of that palaver i really need to replace it So to tight line, I'm going to go in with my liquid eyeliner from Madage Beauty. So I'm glad I finished my eyes now because I'm feeling a bit spacey. So apologies if that comes across to you guys. Um, I'm guessing it's the meds. Um, but anyways, what am I doing now? I have no idea. So next, I'm going to go in with the Colourpop. Cream Gel Liner in Extra Frosting. I love this so much. I've got a backup. Yeah, I really love these Colourpop Cream Gel Liners. I wish I could afford the full set because... <laughs> These are just amazing. Lower lashes, again with the Madage Beauty Medeja Lash Mascara. Yeah, this mascara really is such a good mascara. I have worn this on its own and it is amazing. But I'm a sucker for false eyelashes. And these Miami lashes from Bunny Beauty, I love. I love that they, they're they shorter towards the front and they just flare out. They are beautiful. And uh, they usually look a lot better than this, but this glue sucks. It sucks. So for blush, I'm using my Pout and Shout blush, Rise and Shine. And she looks like this. How beautiful is that? Just taking that on my uh, kind of outside of my cheek there. I don't know how you'd uh, explain that. Oh, these blushes are just so amazing. I say it every single time, but it's true. They are my absolute favorite favorite blushes so the highlighter is the kaleidos space age highlighter in solar sailor and i won't bother showing you the inside because they just look white in the pan but as you're about to find out look at that look at that yellow shine now this is an amazing highlighter I love the Kaleidos formula. This one in particular, this highlighter is just magical, absolutely magical. Can you see that glow? And then just a little bit there. Da. On the center of my nose. Beautiful. And I'm just going to use my blush brush just to melt them together, mesh them together. However, <laughs> whatever. It's 
so beautiful. So beautiful. Right, lipstick. I'm going to go on a hunt for a lipstick quick. I am really feeling the green today. So I am going to go in with V Cosmetics Witchcraft Liquid Moisture Lipstick in the shade Spaceman. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it smells amazing. Look at that colour. Wow. It's so beautiful. I am in love with this lipstick. And the formula of these liquid moisture lipsticks amazing amazing it's so comfortable i can't say any more i love it and i will definitely be picking up some more shades of this at some point so that brings us to the end and for those of you watching the premiere and chatting in the comments thank you so much i love you guys so so much for those of you watching at a later date or time thank you so much for watching I appreciate every single one of you. Without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this and I appreciate you so, so much. So if you have liked this video, please give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you are new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I do a lot of colorful looks and I'm a huge indie brand supporter. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.